All right, so for my classes, I basically just run FJX Fulcrum Pro for the muzzle, the shark fin for the underbarrel, high velocity for the ammo, TV Cardinal for the stock, and the 17.5 Tundra Pro Barrel. You don't have to run the muzzle. You can use either the combat grip or the clean shot grip, whatever you prefer. For the S&D loadout, it's basically the same thing. I just run a knife to move faster. My secondary, and then I run Dead Silence. And then for my Vaznev, I run the Spiral muzzle. I run the Shark Fin, the True Tech grip, and the Ultrazat stock. And then for the MP7, I run sometimes. I use a Spiral. Shark fin, 30 round mags, the Schlager grip, and the demo RXT stock. So basically how I warm up is I'll go into a bot lobby. I'll play it on shipment and then turn the time limit all the way up, score limit all the way up, match start time at five seconds, and I turn on spawn AI on death. So it like just speeds up the process of them responding quicker. And then I'll do six bots on recruit just to practice my centering so they don't shoot back at me basically. And then I'll turn off my aim assist while I am working my centering with the sniper. So whenever I pull out the tag, my centering will be pretty good. So when I warm up, I'll basically just like run around and snipe the bots. Not like that, but I just like focus on my centering basically. And yeah, I'll just run around, work my centering. And move left to right, basically. And then for the movement, what I basically recommend is it's gonna be harder with a default controller, a controller without paddles in the back. But basically, you wanna lay down and go prone and then press sprint. And then you do that over and over again. And while you, while you lay down, you wanna pull back on your joystick. So you stay in one position and then you want to practice that basically and then start spinning it up once you get the hang of it. So when you do that, they can't really see your head. But you can see them. It's kind of like a an exploit basically. And that's called snaking. And so yeah, you just want to do that while you're on like a heady or something. And they can't really see you. And then when you jump, you want to like flick your joystick to get a better jump. When you're coming around corners, you want to like pre-aim the corner basically, like in the middle. So basically, if like, like that, if someone's in the middle, you already have the advantage on because you're already aimed in. Because if you jump and you're not aimed in, it takes that extra millisecond or two to actually aim in. And then they'll probably just win the gunfight because they're already expecting you to jump around the corner. But you basically want your center dot to be in the center of where you're aiming. Majority of the time, because you're to the left, and this, there could be someone to your right. Basically, if you like jump and have it to the right, there's someone to be right there. So that's why you want, always want in the center. Whenever I feel like my centering's pretty good with the sniper, I'll pull the attack with the aim assist still off. So I'll get used to the attack. Basically, it takes around three or four shots to kill the enemy with attack. So you basically just want to want to run around and like really focus on how many bullets it takes to kill a bot or an enemy. You want your bullets to connect. That's why you want to work on your centering because sometimes you can be like shooting right next to their head and it won't hit. And you'll be like, where are my bullets are going? And you're just slightly shooting off to their head or the body. And you'll think of be getting like ghost bullets or something like that. And sometimes that does happen with a higher latency. And for my latency right now, it's at three ping. It just really comes down to what Wi-Fi you have. Your average ping will be around 20 to 30 milliseconds. But the lower it is, the more consistent your bullets will be at hitting the enemy. And you really want to focus on the recoil control because when you get up to like the higher ranks of like Diamond and Crimson, those people just really just like shoot straight. Even in like the top tier ranks, like Iridescent Top 250, they like don't miss a shot. So you got to really focus on your recoil control and your centering to really make your way up into those ranks. It takes a lot of time to get your recoil down to uh, like a T. It's taken me like months and months to basically shoot this straight. 
you can even watch pros and other people who are really good at the game how they like warm up and all that stuff and just like really focus in on what they do because that's what i basically do i'll just like watch what they do and like copy them and another trick is on any ledge that you dolphin dive on you get like your movement back so like if you're like tech sprinting and you like dolphin dive onto like a ledge that you can actually land on but after i feel like my aim feels good with no aim assist i'll turn it on and just like get used to the aim assist real quick because the aim assist does stop before you're on the person so you gotta like get used to that But yeah, that's pretty much how I warm up and practice my centering and aiming. Every single time I get on this game before I play ranked, I'll warm up just to perfect my shot so I don't like cost my teammates. And after I'm done, I'll leave and then hop into a ranked game. So when you load into your ranked match and you're playing hardpoint, you want to like take a route that you're most comfortable with. So on this particular spot, you want to watch top bed because sometimes people like come in here and watch that push and they'll like just try and counter you from there. And then you push up, make sure there's no one here and couches. Sometimes someone will sit up here and watch couches from this angle. And then uh, people will sit on the hot tub. They'll sit here, watch that. Uh, dubs, and then they'll watch main. You can wall bang that. Uh, basically what I would do is throw a stun and make sure no one hits through that. You get that um, information. And then people most of the time will jump here and then clear out everything up here and then they'll jump down here. But if people, if someone's behind this box, they can just like wall bang it basically. And then anytime you have a trophy, you want to throw down on the hard point for like an AR or like a point player, an OBJ basically. Basically, you can lay down behind this and you can shoot that. Then we'll have a really hard time shooting back at you. I'll tell you basically just like sit here. And then basically what I was saying earlier about the movement thing on the ledges, you can just like dive on it and you'll get your movement back. And then in terms of rotating, you want to take like the path of like the least resistance, like the outer paths. If you run down the middle, people are just like watching this, they're glitching. And you won't most likely make it through this. So basically, if the enemy is on point, you'll either be spawning like bottom bed over here or like by a uh, diner area over there. And then you'll be pushing through here. Most of the time, someone will be sitting on that heady. So you just want to like peek it, like throw a stun and your grenade. And if you have like a good shot, you can rip them off that heady. But most of the time, people will just go like through the back and just like flank through spa over here. And most, some people lay down right there. So you like kind of like pre-aim it and like jump. But yeah, that's pretty much that. And then you want to rotate through either bottom bed to uh, kitchen area. And you can lay down here and you can wall bang this if someone's sitting in the middle. But most of the time people will be like sitting in this corner or that corner over there. And then people will be snaking this right here doing this. Pain in the ass to deal with. They'll have like a trophy down so any stuns or nades you throw it'll just won't work. So you, people will be like doing this right here. And then some per, some people will sit back here with an AR like on this van or back here and make sure if anyone hits through back um, they'll pick them up basically. And then for like any s &D situations you can wall bang this right here. And they'll basically kill the people sitting in the middle. And then you can sit here and make sure people don't hit through cat room. And then the rotation to P4, you want to like hit through top bed. You can sit here to pick up God Eddie. Sometimes people won't expect that. And then you just like jump out and then like kill these two people right here. And then some people sit L desk right here. And you can like sit on this God Eddie. And you can watch top bed, you can watch this, and you can lay down sometimes. And then you can lay down here and watch this angle, watch this angle. And then if they spawn spa, I'll basically just like sit right here and hold this and then have one of my teammates hold uh, reception so I don't get shot in the back. And this is like a nasty spawn trap right here. And then you want to rotate through either Shandy or you can rotate, rotate through mid. And then you want to break this and you jump up here and jump. And people will be either sitting here, there, or like middle, or right there. So most of the time, people will be sitting right here or here. So you want to like pre-aim basically in the middle. 
you want to like do that and then like you can either snap to one or the other and then kill that dude and sometimes people will be like sitting here and watching this so you also gotta expect that person um sometimes people will be sitting on this lamp and make sure no one comes from here because no one checks this out of this corner and then you can also lay right here and watch carpet and then uh hot spots it just comes with reps basically of playing ranked figuring out where people come from sometimes people will be like in a, an off spot like uh i've never seen someone lay right here but you can lay here if you want this would be considered like kind of like an off spot from the usual spots you want to like find what routes people take and you can like majority of the time 80 percent of the time people will take those routes on this point you basically like have someone back here or have someone over here watching middle and then someone like top bed and then go back and forth and you basically just want to like lay down here and just watch this area but yeah that's basically it for this map at least if you want me to cover any other maps i can show you some spots but that's basically it for how i play how i warm up and all of that so if you want any more tips just let me know in the comments but yeah see you next video